In this question, we want to determine the shortest distance from the point P to the line containing the points Q and R. All right, well, to get a good uh, idea what this question is asking, we should draw a, the graph. Q and R are shown, and P is shown as being at 1, negative 4. Now, the shortest distance from P to the line is going to be a perpendicular distance. And um, in order to determine this, we're going to use a little bit of a shortcut method, which is pretty ingenious. What we're going to do is we're going to recall that we already know how to determine the area of a triangle in a relatively quick way. So we're going to imagine that we're talking about the triangle PQR. The triangle PQR would look something like this. You can tell I'm drawing it pretty roughly. But we're going to determine the area of triangle PQR. Then we're going to remember, we're going to realize that the distance from Q to R is like the base of the triangle. And the distance from the point P to the line is like the height of the triangle. And we know that area equals base times height over 2. Since we have a quick way to find the area, which is the down product minus up product method, and since we have a quick way to find the length of the base, which is the distance formula, we can sub those two values into the area formula, and we'll end up getting the height. And the height of the triangle is exactly what we're looking for. The height of the triangle is the distance from the point to the line in question. It's pretty ingenious. So as a little bit of a recap, here's what we're going to do. We're going to consider the line segment QR to be the base of the triangle PQR. We're going to recognize that the distance that we're looking for is the height of triangle PQR. Since area is equal to base times height over 2, we need only to find the area of triangle PQR, then find the base by using the distance formula from Q to R. Then we plug these values back into the formula. Okay, well let's figure out what the area of the triangle is. To determine the area of the triangle, we use the down products minus the up products. So thinking of PQR as three points of a triangle, our x values are 1, negative 4, and 5. 1, negative 4, and 5. And we repeat the 1. Now, thinking of the y-coordinates of P, Q, and R, we've got negative 4, negative 2, and 6. Negative 4, negative 2, and 6. And again, we repeat the first value, negative 4. We have to imagine our down products, so we go from 1 to negative 2, from negative 4 to 6, and from 5 to negative 4. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, and 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Adding those up, we get the value negative 46. Now, we consider our up products. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, 1 times 6 is 6. So our up products are negative 16, negative 10, and 6. Adding those together gets us 12. So our area is the, magnitude, is the absolute value of down products minus up products, which means it's the absolute value of negative 46 minus 12, divided by 2, I should have said. The uh, negative 46 minus 12 is negative 58. The absolute value of negative 58 is 58. And remember, that number is divided by 2, which means the area of the triangle in question is 29. So coming back to our original diagram, the area of that triangle PQR is 29. If we can simply find the length of that base, we'll be almost done. Well, the length of the base is simply the distance from point Q to point R. So how are we going to figure that out? Well, we use the distance formula x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. 6 minus negative 2 is 8, 5 minus negative 4 is 9, because those are the points in question. 
6 minus negative 2 and 5 minus negative 4. Uh, I put those backwards into the formula for some reason, but the answer is accurately expressed as 145 square rooted. So now what we have is uh, the knowledge that the area of a triangle is base times height over 2. We know the area of the triangle to be 29 using the down product up product method. We know the base of the triangle to be root 145 using the uh, distance of a line segment formula. So now we know that 29 is root 145 times h over 2. Multiplying both sides by 2 gets us 58 equaling root 145 h which means 58 over root 145 is equal to h. Uh, so that means that this distance is equal to 58 over square root of 145. The square root of 145 is slightly bigger than 12. 58 divided by that number is slightly less than 5. And so we've just established that the distance from p to the line segment is slightly less than 5. And our graph sort of... Uh, bears that out. It looks about that much on our graph.